Policing right now has a whole bunch of problems. Public safety has a whole bunch of problems. Among them, though, is a brand problem. What can businesses that are trying to police their own biases within their organization, what can they learn from your work? Like, what can they take away? Because I believe that in this climate now, businesses aren't just judged by their products, they judge on how much they care and, and have concern about their fellow man. So what can they learn from you? So I think there's two sort of highline takeaways beyond the measure of this stuff that matters and this stuff matters. One is work backwards from the problem. And I say, when I talk to corporates, a lot of times, like they think that the problem is just numbers. I can tell you that there's a reason why the inclusion came after diversity and we're gonna talk about justice and freedom later. So that's about power, right? Talk to the folks who are there in a space where they can actually say something or bring somebody else in that they can say something to. So you can hear what the actual issues are within your organization, work backwards from that because those are the measurables that you want. But the other piece is exactly what you said, right? Policing right now has a whole bunch of problems. Public safety has a whole bunch of problems. Among them, though, is a brand problem, right? Who the heck trusts that police are going to show up and do the right thing for vulnerable folks? Like, who thinks that when you see a video of policing, that you're like, oh, something good's about to happen. A baby's about to get saved, right? A family on welfare is about to find employment, and, and, and they're going to get the better education and come up. That's not what's happening. The brand is contaminated by the historical choices of the industry. That's not just policing, y'all. So if you care about the long-term future, if you're gonna invest in innovation, invest in the brand. And the brand has to be positively aligned with basic social values. That doesn't mean that you need to have police abolition as one of your core tenets for, for you know, market success, but it does absolutely mean that you should show up in the anti-racist column. Like that's a fairly basic element that racism bad, Nazism bad should be associated with your brand. And if it's not, you better look at what choices you made that got you there because brands don't happen overnight.